Hands, need a favor. Straight to biz. I like it. Aiming to go to an upcoming shindig at the Black Sapphire. Lusting to dance with the devil. V, the place is inaccessible and treacherous in equal parts. You cannot simply walk in uninvited as opposed to, say, Kanpeki Plaza. Surely there's some way in. Very well, I'll be frank. A handwritten invitation, unachievable, but I can work something out. I'll need a favor in return, though. Reputation is a currency. Its value derives from collective faith. It fluctuates. Do you understand me? Yeah, I see what you're driving at. Want me to help you earn a little rep? Precisely. Complete a few gigs for me, give my reputation in Dogtown a shot in the butt cheek. The Black Sapphire plans will be yours. All right, Hans. Got yourself a deal. I'm oh so glad. I'll feed her sane. V. Two NCPD officers are in need of rescue. And who but you could save those sworn to protect us? Get in. Now, these two little piggies went to market, struck a deal with one of Hanson's men, Dodger. What could go wrong, you think? Get in. Correct. Everything. Stella, the fiancé of one of our officers, will fill you in. Best of luck. Stella? Something the matter? Get down. Can't get spotted by Dodger's men. If it makes you feel better. Listen, this is serious, okay? You don't mess with Dodger's people. Okay, <laughs> sure. Pretty comfy, actually, this. Need your help with my fiancé, Bill, and his buddy, Charlie. They're trapped in the building across the street. Hans mentioned they're both NCPD. Both grade A gonks, too. Sometimes do side gigs around town. Wanted to cut a deal with Dodger, but things obviously went south. Bill called me from inside, said only that, and I quote, it's bad. And if I don't get help, Dodger will paint the walls with their brains. Why's Dodger got you all shaking at the knees? He's a dealer with close ties to Hanson. Total psycho, too. Move to Dogtown to avoid serious prison time. Just please try not to wipe Dodger's men. You'll make things go from bad to worse. Take this access card. Dodger took over an abandoned NCPD precinct. Security systems are still up and running, so this should get you in without a hitch. Upsides of last-gen NCPD tech, huh? Save them. Please. How the fuck should I know? It was supposed to be here like an hour ago. Yup. Except he's not. Get him back.
There's a switch to the right. Use it. My right or your right? My fucking right! Hello? Who's asking, Charlie or Bill? It's Charlie. So Stella did manage to find someone. Thank fuck. Okay, let's try to get this open. Fucking slap this thing. A little help. Won't budge. Need your help. Come on! Jesus fucking Christ! I know. What the fuck? Don't worry. Not my blood. <laughs> the hell happened? Uh, better see for yourself. It's just through here. What in the... This is Bill. Hi. Stella wasn't kidding. Doesn't get much more bad than this. <laughs> Could really use your help. You don't fucking say. We we, we didn't kill him, okay? We, we we swear. Let's see. Two blood-soaked dudes locked in a room with a gutted corpse. Yeah, real puzzler. Better take ages for a detective to unravel this one. Go on. Tell him about your genius idea. My idea? You're the one who Plan set up the deal with was Dodger. rock fucking solid. If only you didn't leave a bag of drugs in front of a junkie. How was I supposed to know he'd swallow it? You say drugs? Oh, you go. No, you. I swear to fucking God. Went like this. Choom over here clips Dodger's shit. Hightails it to NC. We catch wind, Dodger's put out a bounty to bag him. Bring back his nose candy. Bump right into him during a routine stop. Dumb fucking luck. Choom was carrying seven ounces of Sin Coke. So we cuffed him. Took him here. Choom swallowed seven whole ounces? That, that even possible? So we're here, waiting on Dodger, when Bill pops the baggie on the table like it's nothing. All of a sudden, this gonk turd yells, Fuck you, pigs, and stuffs the bag in his mouth. Could have had a food tube implant. Like a deep, wide throat. Yeah. Like the one your mom's got. Fuck Why you even do talking that? about no Bill. Sense. Fuck if I know. It's not like he made a list of pros and cons. Bag must have broke because he got all foamy at the mouth. Started spazzing out and then just croaked. That's when we started to panic. This fool gulped tens of thousands worth of eddies. What the fuck else are we supposed to do? If the bag already broke, why bother trying to play Operation? We panicked, all right? Shit happens. <sighs> this... It's all gone. Dissolved. And now Dodger's gonna end us. So you bring him the thief who swiped his dope. Only now there's no thief. Or dope. Yeah. It's about the gist of it. You gotta help us get out of here. All right. Let's get moving. One last tiny thing. Came here in our squad car and, uh, kinda need it back. Just keeps getting better. Where is it? In the garage. To the garage we it's go. It's official, V. Finally made it to the major leagues. League of first class leadheads, to be precise. Nice of you to join us, Johnny. Always got you. Kill me if she finds out what we did. I'm a dead man walking. You know what you could use? What? A nice big pair of balls. Oh, cause you're such a tough guy? Not like you stutter in front of the cap every fucking time. I don't fucking stutter. Let us through here before. What was the code again? 2893? It was 2983. Idiot, it was 2893. Saw him punch it. Go on. Didn't work. <laughs> 2983, I fucking told you. Dodger school. Huh? Okay. I'm awesome. I be with the Yeah, I put the sauce in. 
Eat shit, psycho! Hey, no killing, all right? Got enough problems as it is. Shit, another door. It's sealed tight. Again? Come on, guys. Hey, this wasn't us, okay? There could be a switch around here somewhere. Dodger will drown us in eddies, Bill. The plan is foolproof, Bill. Trust me, I know what I'm saying, Bill. Shut up, Bill. So what if it's fucking Pacifica? What, too pussy to set foot there, Bill? Afraid of running? The asshole who couldn't keep a bag in his fucking pocket. Gotcha. Serious scratch to be made in wieners. Oh, screw you, Charlie. Screw you. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Our squad car's right through here. You do have them, don't you? The keys. Shit. Wait, don't tell me you left them upstairs. Kill, Chum. Got him right here. Fellas. Oh, I'm out early. We, uh, we can explain. Quiet. You, I don't know. Care to introduce yourself? Name's V. Got no clue what I'm doing here. Honest. I like that. One thing I can't put my finger on, though. What's that you got on your faces? A little ketchup? Run out of napkins? Uh... Yeah, well... Uh, no, not us! Per se. You any better at speaking full sentence? Um... Uh, there was a shootout. A, a, a guy got hit. It was, it was bleeding out fast. After that, brought your stuff here. Uh, left it all upstairs, so... It's all good. Another smooth talker. All right. Third time's a charm. Is he spinning yarns? Done playing games. Mind if we skip to the part where we try to zero each other? Thought you'd never ask. 
Oh, you're fucked now! One tough! It's safe to come out. Dodger ain't breathing. Is it over? Yup, nothing left but hop in your ride, flee the scene. Sure you can manage that much. Thanks. So are we going or what? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks again. Okay, I'll radio us in, tell him we're back. Wait, I'll get Stella on the hollow first. So tell me, what did our boys in blue do this time? Let me put it this way. This is the last time I do a gig for the badges. Prickly today, are we? I'll make do without details. If the client is happy, then so am I. Contract closed. Stitches on in place? <laughs> you Odell like Blanco? Hell. Name's V. Fixer said you need a hand. <laughs> More like a miracle. If the scabs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. It looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? Nah, I just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Well, that we haven't tried. What do the scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. Anderson locked himself in his office? Yes. It's the only spot with any security. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the scavs hurt Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me. Gun down, let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here, alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You, off your ass! Where's Gaspar? Thought about switching up your game. That iron's not making much of an impact. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! Ugh, what the fuck? You, Merc, help me! 
One shot too many, Scav. Finally. You couldn't have done that from the start? You know, could have handled this gig yourself. Just had to tell the truth. The truth? The truth is her brother was a junkie with a prognosis of hopeless to death. But no, she wasn't interested in that truth. The patients, what's their status? With Odell out in the street, waiting. Wait, the door, someone's there. I thought you dealt with the scavs. Not all of them, clearly. Well, what are you waiting for? Remove them. Once it's clear, tell Odell he's to get back to work. Kinda busy here. Stupid motherfucker! Activating defense. 
systems, 40%. Human life signature detected. Initiating evacuation protocol. Unlocking emergency exit. I'm linked to the runner, see? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh? Netrunner, blackmailer, murderer. He's my hit. He has some dirt under his nails, yes. But Milko, he's a no one. A small fish in a big pond. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. Met a tomb of yours recently. Likewise, sniffing around the voodoo boys. Agent Mosley. He speaks highly of you. You came to an understanding with our man back then. Yeah, I thought so too. Till I learned your buddy secretly injected a tracking program in me. Class act. That's why I'm not gonna waste my breath on a corpo this time round. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine, but so much is a twitch and you're a flatline. That's better. Now, listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Wanna stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers like Milko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. Well, got fingers crossed for you, but don't count on my help. Safety of my client's my only priority. This client of yours, a corpo, engineering type, that fits the Voodoo's typical target profile. Mm-hmm. Either help with the hacking or get hacked, huh? What's the angle there? The Voodoo's get their hands on old military tech. They want to dust it off, get it running, which means they need experts to reverse engineer it. Smashed a few bots along the way. Those old military models? Mm-hmm. And the Voodoo Boys won't be happy to lose them. But they do have more. Give me a chance. Do you realize how many more people you can save this way? I have reports of victims all along the coast. Milko is only one of the runners working for the Voodoo Boys. As soon as I find the head behind the operation, I can chop it off and end this for good. I need Milko. His death alone won't change anything. Understand? How can you be sure that'll work? Because I'm a professional. Just like you. The difference is, I intend to restore order. Whereas you offer only more chaos. Think he cares about those poor saps the voodoo boys are hacking? Last thing on his mind. Company men do it, like him, right? all the same. Just out to be the next fake smiling employee of the month. Fine. Keep doing your thing here. Just know, if you fuck this up, you're next on my shit list. You won't regret it. I give my word.
assured me they will place Indira Baratza on their witness protection okay list with without delay. They've assigned Netrunner guards around the clock to protect her body and mine. No hacker alive can reach her now. You've secured the safety of your client and elevated your fixer standing with his corporate employers. With a full heart and a fuller bank account, I'll transfer your fee. Contract closed. Hey, old, hang on a sec, Hans. Remember our deal? Yes, the Black Sapphire. I have an entry strategy for you. Foolproof. Beat me at the heavy hearts. Okay, be there soon. Hey, you there! This is a nice place, so play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere! Father must get back to work now. Okay? Okay. Ah, if it isn't V. V, my favorite Merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain, the elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. You have proven to be a person I can trust. Hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'll be done. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but... The... gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the... chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm. Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... Trying. Interest you in some tea. It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? Heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069, Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? 
to occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. Let's table politics for now, huh? Go straight to biz. Business. Hmm. Of course. The Black Sapphire. Hansen stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints. All nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hens. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess, more local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Be looking forward to those new gigs, then. You will hear from me soon. This, I guarantee you. And V, whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. Make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands. Away. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, you just wait. There is a job, V. A journalist, Bree Whitney, has fled into Dogtown. I need you to look after her. She fled. 
Means I gotta keep her tucked away? No. Bree has a lead. You're to help her complete her investigation. There's a corp on her tail, as she put it. That is all she said. Miss Whitney seems to have some minor trust issues. Huh. Think she actually dug something up, or is it just garden variety paranoia? One doesn't exclude the other. Besides, I wouldn't call discretion paranoia. It's a safety measure. The reason, I would contend, why the client has yet to provide a rendezvous point. You'll go to her apartment first, on Skyline West. You're to collect an electronic access card. And no, do not say this card, what's it open? I simply don't know. Contact me once this is sorted. You'll learn more details then. Shit! V, what's wrong? Oh, come on. It's fine. I'm alright. Sit down. How can I help? Really? Starting to get used to it. This the relic? Just a little dust allergy. Uh-huh. Fucking relic. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but... Never know if the next one won't be my last. No shit. Dad's breathing down my neck. Always. I know what that feels like. Being a dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes, it feels like they actually succeeded. Tell me more. Ambush. Attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, you said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU. While I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. I was betrayed. By our people. The FIA. I say betrayed, but I was sold out. Part of a deal, a peace offering. My head on a silver platter, all for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always gotta pay it. Come on, I'm gonna show you something. Hang on, they set you up, yet here you are working for him again. Even deep wounds stop hurting eventually. Scar over. A few years on, they're just a niche. Let's go. Let's ride down. Where are we headed? On a little trip down memory lane. To see some old junk. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again.
The end of any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. A third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple of us just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for Arasaka agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. I thought we still had a fighting chance. It was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Or maybe... I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Say what you want, but sounds like they stabbed you in the back, plain and simple. Saving many of my people in the process. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Funny. Out of everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. Probably had no choice. Dead, didn't. It's irrelevant now. What happened, happened. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here. In this very room, in fact. He was guiding me on comms. Led me straight into a trap. Neutralizing me. The last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. Reed. What are you doing now? This saving her, or is it revenge? I don't have a ventral bone left in me. I had plenty of time to examine this under a microscope. Under focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Songbird is still my people, and nothing can change that. Fuck, Reed. Now, my is is a whole nother story. But Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Some reminiscing. So good, let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Looking at it right, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Blackwall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person. Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, little of this, little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? Nah, I always feel like I got a stick up my ass. Ouch. Sucks to be you. <laughs> Afraid it ain't up for debate. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned though, fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Let me hear him. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. What about Reed? Was just about to mention, he'll be there too, of course. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. 
Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end, jack in and breach the cams, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Yup. Prem. Okay, let's talk gear. Take your time. Grab anything you think might be useful. A surprise awaits you in the box. This your iron? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. It'd be an honor. That reminds me. Hands. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? Wanted to test the waters, see which way the currents are flowing. Hansen's dominance over Dogtown doesn't benefit Hans' know-how, so he's out to level the playing field. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Somburg. It's good to have you on our side. I mean that, V. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while, and then meet you there. Place stinks of memories, huh? Ooh, it. The world preserved. 